Hey YouTube, opinionated review here. And I just did a video on snow breeze. I was about to go in my bed and then check and realize that the Windows version of Red Snow is out. So I'm about to do a video on that for you guys. I remember this jailbreak is tethered, so you'll have to use Red Snow to boot your device tethered every time your battery dies or you turn off your phone and reboot it. So I have everything in the description down below. Just check it out. You're going to need Red Snow. I have the link to that. You're going to need your 5.0 beta firmware. I have the link to that also. So you're going to right click Red Snow. Click properties. I'm going to click compatibility. Check run this program in compatibility mode 4. Windows Service Pack 2. Click run this program as an administrator. Click apply. And then click OK. Now you're going to run Red Snow. Click yes. Browse for that same firmware that you downloaded from the link I provided. Mine is on my desktop. Put it somewhere you can find it. I'm doing my iPhone 4 on 5.0. And I'm not sure what go what's going to happen if you try this and your UDID is not registered. My UDID is registered. Once again, I'm not sure what's going to happen. You're trying this at your own risk. So now that Red Snow identified, we're gonna click next, and we're gonna just we're just gonna click install CDO for now, and just click next, and we're gonna get ready to put our iDevice into DFU mode. You can power off your iDevice, and just in case you don't know how to do that, I'm gonna show you. You're gonna hold a power button for two, what, three seconds, then hold the power and the home button. For 10 seconds then release the power button keep on holding the home button for 15 seconds or until red snow recognize your eye device now we're gonna we could do it right here we don't have to click next and have once it red snow recognizes DFU mode then it, it will start automatically so we're gonna go one two three one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and as you saw red snow just automatically started the the process without me having to click next so we we'll let red snow do its thing and then we're gonna come back when this is finished Now that Red Snow is finished and the phone, as you can see, has all your white CD icon. And if you click on Safari or CD, you see that they're crashing. That's perfectly normal. What we have to do now is use Red Snow and boot it tethered. So now we're going to go back to our desktop. We're going to run Red Snow. It's the same process, but a similar process, not the same. So we're going to browse for the firmware. Same firmware you used last time, 5.0 firmware. I'm going to click next and what we're going to do now is just we're going to just boot tether just click just boot tether right now and we're going to click next so what we're going to do is put our iDevice into DFU mode again it's the same thing you don't have to turn off you can leave it on you can just go let's go one two three one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine as you see red snow has recognized i device and it's working its magic so i'm going to come back after red snow is finished and my phone is booted up now that your i device is booted up your cd icon should look normal and it should function normal too and your Safari should also function normal. So that's it. Remember this jailbreak is a tethered version. If you want to try it out, you're doing it at your own risk. Nothing really works on it. Most of the tweaks don't even work. But yeah, with that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.